Que é que o nome é? Rafa Mbou, Chico de Ké. Mbou, Unia, Nkosi. Nkê, Kosi, Unu. Ibo, Sente, Structures. Tá. Mbou, Agente. Ok. Ibo, Sente, Structures. This is kind of a hard subject to teach. Because it's so many. But, I basically try to make up my own thing to try and teach it. I can't teach you how to make any type of sentence in one video so I can break it into parts but this is like the basic basic how to make a sentence I made something called sap sin son sap son it's s a p v s o n you can use this to memorize how to make a sentence it shouldn't be that hard but here it is s stands for subject like your noun or something a stands for your auxiliary word, verb, or whatever. P stands for your prefix. V stands for your verb. S stands for your subject. O stands for an object. And A, what's the called? What's the last one? Oh, N stands for <laughs> your noun. So you have. What the hell? Oh, <laughs> so you have um, you have subject, auxiliary, prefix, verb, suffix, an object, and a noun. So let me show you how it works. For example, we're gonna let me give you a sentence. Okay, here's a sentence. Emeka neye ha ife. Ameka neye haha ife. Ameka is giving them things. Oh, let me use another one. No, just let me use a better one. Ameka gabia echi. So, let me show you. Ameka is our S in the beginning. Then, ga is our A, the auxiliary. Bia is our verb. And uh, ex it's like our, it's our um, what's that last one again? Our N, our noun. So, Ameka, Gabia, Echi. Ameka, Gabia, Echi. Ameka will come tomorrow. And just for your info, the little thing I gave you in the beginning, the S-A-P-V-S-O-N, it doesn't have to include all of those. It just has to have, like, usually a, an Igbo sentence will have usually one of, like, each. Well, not each, but, like, that's those are the things that it will be composed of. But it doesn't have to have, like, a subject and, you know, a prefix and a suffix and an object and a noun all in one sentence and stuff. But usually that's, like... This is like a little basis, a guideline that you can use. That's what they'll usually have. Just a clear confusion. I'm sorry, I, I just took a three mile run. I'm kind of tired right now and really don't have any strength. I'm trying my best though. Okay, now let's use that last sentence and I'm going to give you two more sentences. Okay, the first one is Ameka Abiala Ta. Which means Ameka came today. And the second one is Abiala Ta. Now you see the different the difference? Like we use all which is a pronoun instead of Ameka. And you notice how when you said Ameka came today, you said Ameka Abiala. But if you say he came today, you say all Biala, you don't put that A before the B. Just a clear confusion, because that's what when I was learning Igbo, that's one of the things that like gave me trouble the most. So like when you have a pronoun, because okay with the past tense I would say because biala is the past tense of bia to come so came. You don't put the when you're using a pronoun you don't put you don't put like a prefix before it. So it will be all biala ta not a mecca a biala. Wait, like not all abiala ta. That's incorrect. Abiala ta. Ameka 
Abiela Tak.